Okay, so I have already primed my face with the Tarte Tinted BB Treatment Primer. And then I am going in with my trusty Bare Minerals Original Foundation. I'm using it with the Real Techniques Powder Brush. And that's just to ensure that I get a really flawless, smooth, medium coverage. And the color I'm using today is Golden Medium. For concealer, I get asked about this combo a lot. I love using my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. A lot of people ask me if I use this before or after powder, um, especially when I just use powder foundation. And this concealer works great on top of powders. So I love using it with my Bare Minerals Original or my MAC Studio Fix Powder. I think it actually lays better on powder than it does on top of liquid which sounds really strange but it gives the most flawless coverage underneath your eyes it does not cake up and it's just absolutely one of my favorite concealers of life and then I'm setting it with the Bare Minerals Bare Skin uh, Mineral Veil this was the one designed for the Bare Skin Foundation but you can use it with any type of uh, foundation or uh, concealer product and for my bronzer I'm using my again trusty Bare Minerals Warmth this is a product that I kind of, you know, I had so many of, you collect over the years, and I just kind of sat it back, I haven't used it for a while, and I went through a bronzer crisis to where I couldn't figure out which bronzer looked good on my skin recently, I just couldn't find one that I liked in my collection, and so I just pulled back out my warmth, and I've been loving it ever since. For my blush and highlight, I'm using the NARS Dual Intensity Duo in the shade Jubilation. And I'm really using this shade as my highlight um, because since I do have self tan on, it doesn't really show up as well on my skin. So I just went back in with another blush on top of the highlight and I'm using the Bobbi Brown blush in the shade Pastel Peach. Moving on, I am priming my eyes with the Bare Minerals 5-in-1 BB Eye Primer, and this is in the shade Soft Linen. It's just a really pretty, soft, neutral color, and I love these primers because they do conceal your eyelids, and they really do work. They really do help your shadow stay on all day, and they just intensify the entire look of your um, eyeshadows in general. I'm taking the Bare Minerals 8.0 uh, palette in the shade Posh Neutrals, and I'm just using two colors out of this palette. I'm taking the soft uh, shimmery taupe color and just blending that all over my eye into the crease. Uh, it's just a really soft, natural, uh, taupey, shimmery effect. And I'm blending that in with the Morphe Badger Blending Brush. I believe that is what it's called. It's really great if you want a nice, soft eye look. And then I just took the shimmering white color in the palette and used that as my brow bone highlight. For eyeliner, I am tight lining my eyes with the MAC Eye Coal and Smolder. I absolutely love MAC Eye Coals. They are just my go-to. They stay on amazingly well. They are pigmented. They're easy to apply. I would highly suggest them. Uh, a lot of you guys have asked to see how I do my winged liner on hooded lids. I've included it in a couple videos, but I decided to show you again how I do it. So I'm using the Kat Von D uh, Tattoo Liner in Trooper. And I'm just creating a soft flick. I mean, I really don't do anything dramatic. It's just a very soft flick, great for every day. And I just follow the natural shape of my eye. And when I get to the actual flick, I kind of start at the bottom corner of my eye and flick out. That way, there's not a kind of gap in between your upper and lower lash line, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, it's just a very natural, simple, everyday wing. I just honestly follow my natural lash line. Moving on to mascara, I'm using the original Buxom mascara. This is just the first one they ever came out with, I believe. And it's very similar to Lash Domination, except it doesn't curl your lashes as well. It doesn't have that spiral brush on it. Um, but I love it for just a really good everyday mascara in general. For my lips, I'm using the IT Cosmetics Your Lips But Better Lip Liner, and this is just the uh, nude color. I really love this lip liner. It's great for every day, and it's kind of hard to overline your lips with it because it does look like your natural lip color. 
here we all have those moments when we get our hair in our mouth when we're applying lipstick um, but I am using the Fergie uh, the wet and wild for Fergie lipstick in the shade Bebop Love which is a great dupe for uh, Max Velvet Teddy and then I'm applying my Buxom White Russian uh, lip lip gloss <laughs> and that is pretty much it for the look I hope you guys enjoyed it feel free to leave your questions down below and I will have more tutorials coming soon bye